Hey everybody, I was um, looking to record some music with reasonably good um, video quality and, and audio quality and um, in a way that was an easy setup with things I already had so I could do um, live streaming of music, of me performing music uh, as easy as possible. And, and with reasonably good quality that, you know, doesn't make you want to cringe, you know, when you watch it or hear it. So, um, I've been experimenting a little bit with just different setups and, and I've got a pretty simple setup. And if you have an iPhone, a fairly recent iPhone, you're going to get really great quality video. And I'm going to show you in this, um, little video with a couple clips of different, uh, audio tests, how you can get some reasonable audio just using the earbuds that come with the uh, the iPhone that plug into the lightning jack. So um, anyway, stick around and uh, I'll show you the two or three tests. And then the final one, which I think has really the best um, quality audio and then the, the video from the phone is great. So I think I'll probably use that for live streaming. And then I'll show you exactly what the setup is. So stick around. Where do you go when there's nowhere to fall? Stuck in a crowd all alone. Who do you turn to to rise from it all? To navigate life on your own. And I pray. Where do you go when there's nowhere to fall? Stuck in a crowd all alone. Who do you turn to to rise from it all? To navigate life on your own. And I pray. I've been looking down that highway I've been searching for that song I've been looking for my way For a little bit too long I've been waiting on the world So that I can carry on I've been letting go so I can grow So my hope can remain strong Hold on to that song be strong, don't ever let go Hold on to the one thing you got Hold on to hope, hold on So here's the setup. I'm using a Fender Passport Mini, like seven watt amp with an um, instrument, guitar input, and an XLR uh, microphone input. Um, just uh, using a Shure SM58 microphone as the microphone. And then um, all that's running out of this amp. And, um, Seriously, all I did for the audio, and I'm recording, the, I recorded this video direct into my iPhone, was use the earbuds that come with the iPhone with, uh, with the lightning jack. So, whoops, there's the lightning jack. And, whoops, there's a little microphone in this uh, section of the, the headphones. You can see the little microphone icon if I get there there we go um, and so really what I did was I hung it off this table probably about six inches away from the actual speaker and um, and then I just performed and had all the sound running through the Passport Mini um, and this little microphone direct into the iPhone is capturing the sound so I thought that was a pretty good setup I, I liked the sound well enough um, so I think I might use this as an option 
uh, for live streaming as well. Um, so anyway, just thought I'd share that. Take care. So if you end up trying this technique, I um, encourage you to use an amp um, with maybe a little slight reverb on it. Just give, give the audio a little bit of depth. Um, you still have to dial in the, the, um, the mic level and the, um, guitar level. If, you know, if you're mixing it basically within an amp or on a mixing board or whatever, um, using this technique, you can have it come out of a speaker. It could come out of a, a monitor speaker. If you're using a mixing board, um, or an amp or, or anything like that. So I'm just using this, this passport mini. Um, but like I said, you got to dial in the, the levels for the instrument and the guitar or excuse me, the, the mic and the guitar. Um, and then you, I would do some experiment videos, uh, and just see, uh, you know, with the, the earbud mic placement, you know, how you can get that right just to your liking and all those kinds of things. And even do a, a live stream test, maybe on Facebook or something and just see, play it back. And so dial it in and then document what you're doing in terms of like, where you are setting up the mic, um, the earbud mic in, in relation to the, the amplifier and your levels on, on the amplifier for the vocals and the guitar and all that kind of stuff. So if you document all that, then you'll have a template when you come back to do another live stream and kind of know where to set everything up so you can get some pretty good sound pretty quickly and uh, take it from there. All right, thanks.